We'll cross through the lab, and then we'll double back. You better be right. If Vernon cuts us off, it's your fault. What do you say? Where are we going? School's not out yet, kids. And in John Hughes' The Breakfast Club, it seems like school will never end. People say that life is just like high school. Well, if that's the case, then high school is an awful lot like detention. You're stuck in a place where you don't want to be with a bunch of people you don't like, and you're told that it's for your own good. Well, well, here we are. But actually, The Breakfast Club has a lot to teach about dealing with authority, about respecting the individuality of other people, and about understanding the inner lives of those very mysterious creatures, the American adolescents. John Hughes, who died last year, was the Henry James of suburban teenage life. His major work, The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, Weird Science, Pretty in Pink, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Some Kind of Wonderful, was all produced between 1984 and 1987. These movies established Hughes' reputation and also defined the experience of a generation. In The Breakfast Club, five students have been summoned by their despised principal for Saturday detention. All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. We are going to write an essay of no less than a thousand words describing to me who you think you are. There's Judd Nelson as the burnout, Ali Sheedy as the freak, Emilio Estevez as the jock, Anthony Michael Hall as the brain, and the princess of 80s teen cinema, Molly Ringwald, as the princess. Yeah, this is really happening to me. Each of these kids has assumptions about the others, and the movie begins by confining them all to their stereotypical identities. But the movie doesn't stay in this place for very long. As the day goes on, the assumptions that these characters have about one another and about themselves are questioned, complicated, and finally shattered. I mean, we're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it, that's all. Oh, are you bizarre? In the course of The Breakfast Club, the five characters grow up. Can't think for himself. They learn to stop thinking in fixed categories and to accept ambiguity and nuance. The movie The Breakfast Club grows up right alongside them. What starts out as a high school comedy or an after school special matures into a complex and satisfying drama. And that's why I keep coming back to it, even though I got out of detention a long time ago. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, with the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't.